Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be showing you quickly how I installed a three-way dimmer switch. This is gonna go in my dining room just so we have control over how bright the lights are in there. Maybe you're wanting one for your living room so you can set the mood for your favorite comedy on the news. Or maybe you're planning on hosting some people and are afraid how your food is gonna turn out and you can just turn down those lights so they can't see it as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. So the first step we need to take is we need to turn off the power going to that light switch. So go to your main panel, shut off the circuit breaker that powers that switch, and then we'll use a multimeter to make sure that the power is in fact off. So here are all my switches in this box. This is the switch I'm after. This is the three-way switch that controls the dining room. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it from the box. If we turn it over here to the side, you'll see these two different colored terminal screw heads. This one's black, this one's more of like a brassish color. This black one is gonna be the common wire. And since this is the first switch in line coming from the box or the uh, main panel, it's always got power going to it that then supplies the rest of the light switches and the light. Now, that means that then this one down below is a traveler wire, which I see the electrician did not get that tucked in all the way, which that is not good. So we're gonna fix that in just a moment. And then if you switch it over here to the other side, you'll see this red wire. This is also a traveler wire. Now you may have noticed that this wire that's a traveler wire on this side is white, which is usually a neutral wire. But in this case, they're using it as a traveler wire. So one of the first things I like to do to make sure that I don't ever get my wires confused is I'll just take a piece of electrical tape and I always wrap it around my line or common wire that's coming in in this case, just so that there's no getting them confused. Now, in this particular instance, that black wire is the only one I've got going to this light switch. But in a lot of cases, you're gonna have multiple black wires, so it's always best to mark the line wires so that you know which one is which once you've removed all these wires from the light switch. All right, so now we can start removing our wires from the terminals. And since the new wiring is just gonna be wire nutted together, we're not gonna need these half circles that went around the terminals, so you can just straighten them out, or you can just cut them off and start with fresh leads. All right, so here is the new switch, and on the back you'll see all the wiring. We've got a green wire for our ground. We've got two reds, one is a solid red, one is red with a white line on it, and then our black wire. So these two red wires are gonna be our traveler wires, the black wire is going to be our common, and of course the green ground. So let's go ahead and start hooking this up. All right, so first we're going to start with the green ground wire. And you just get started wrapping it around the bare copper wire that's coming out of the wall. And then just put your wire nut on top and really tighten it down until you're getting quite a bit of resistance to where it won't really tighten down much more. You want to make sure that they are twisted really well together. Next, we'll start with this first traveler wire, which is red with a white stripe on it, and attach it to, in this case, this white traveler wire. Next, we'll attach this solid red traveler wire to this solid red traveler wire coming out of the light switch. And last but not least, we will now attach our black common wire coming out of the wall to the black common wire coming out of the dimmer switch. Then once you've got all of your wires together, you wanna to give them all a nice tug just to make sure that they're all in there nice and tight and aren't just gonna fall out. Next, we can push all of our wires into the back of the box. Now we can install the screws. So now that everything is installed, now we can turn the power back on. So now that the power is back on, now we can go ahead and test our light switch out. But before we do that, I wanna bring your attention down here to this little knob here. This is an adjustment, and this adjusts the dimming range, especially if you're using LEDs or CFL type light bulbs, as they can be more sensitive to dimmer switches. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead with our dimmer in the lowest setting and our light switch off. We're gonna bring this adjustment down all the way and we'll flip the switch on. And now we're going to just barely turn this adjustment up 
until we see our lights come on and to where they are stable. They're not blinking, they're not flickering, nothing abnormal. And once you've reached that point, just leave it right there and you're set as far as that adjustment goes. And so again, this is just the toggle that turns it on and off. And of course, over here on the right, this is then, this is why you bought this switch. This is what then adjusts the brightness or how dim you want the room to be for your particular light. All right, guys, so as you can see, pretty quick and easy to do. Even an electrician can handle it. So just make sure when you're picking out your dimmer switch that you're picking one that fits your particular lights and location. And again, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. See ya.